Optimizing your computer for peak performance is one way to experience trouble-free recording in Pro Tools. Tuning your system helps to alleviate common error messages associated with poor performance. Here are some things you can do to improve your computer's performance when using Pro Tools. From the Start menu, right-click on Computer and choose Properties. The System window will open. The System window is a great place to get important information about your computer, such as the processor, how much RAM you have, the OS, and your computer's name. You can also get to the Advanced System Settings, which is where you want to be. In the System Properties, there are five tabs. Computer Name, Hardware, Advanced, System Protection, and Remote. We want the Advanced tab. Click the Settings button in the Performance section and open up the Performance options. Let's deal with the Visual Settings. The default setting is to let Windows do what's best for your computer. Not really the best option for real-time music applications. Adjusting for best performance will turn off all the fancy graphic options, and that's good. The next item is under the Advanced tab. Choose how to allocate processor resources. Choosing background services is best for running Pro Tools. Now the Data Execution Prevention section, while not a necessary optimization, it has been known to resolve some issues with launching Pro Tools. Choose the second option, which disables Data Execution Prevention, but only for the applications that you choose. And we're going to choose the Pro Tools application. So navigate your C drive into Program Files, Diddy Design, Pro Tools, and then select the Pro Tools application, and it will be added to the list. Perfect. Now, the moment you apply all of these changes, you'll notice that the visual aesthetics of the OS change to the classic Windows look. You'll also be informed that a restart is also necessary. Now, you can run your system looking just like this, or you can choose a more modern looking theme. Just right click on the desktop and choose Personalize. And instead of a mid 90s look, go ahead and select the Windows 7 basic look, a little bit more modern looking. Nice. Now, while you're here, go ahead and verify that your screensaver is turned off, that it's set to None. If it's not, set it that way and then press OK. Then close the Personalize window. So now that you've performed these basic optimization techniques, don't forget that a full system restart will be necessary. Come down to the Start menu, choose Restart, and that's it.